Investment banking analysts are known for long hours and relatively low pay in comparison. But could that all be changed by the rise of generative AI? Gen AI, or algorithms that can be used to create new content, first began to impact most of us when ChatGPT became available for public use in 2022, and it has continued to advance. Studies show that AI could automate up to 45% of the tasks currently performed in specific sectors and could add up to $14 trillion to the global economy by 2035. So, when it comes to the long and arguably tedious workday of an investment banking analyst, it begs the question, how could their role be changed or perhaps threatened by the rise of generative AI? Investment banking analysts, their jobs can be broken down into three specific sections financial modeling, market research, and deal execution. Financial modeling is when analysts build complex financial models to analyze a company's performance, determine valuation metrics, and forecast future earnings. It takes them a significant amount of time, requires an extensive understanding of economic theories and concepts, as well as meticulous attention to detail. Market research is when analysts conduct extensive investigations within the market, identifying trends, assessing industry dynamic, and evaluating the competitive landscape. This relies on analysts synthesizing information from various diverse sources and providing key insights to their clients. Deal execution is when analysts coordinate with legal advisors, accountants, and other parties, playing a crucial role in ensuring that transactions progress smoothly and meet regulatory requirements, as well as carrying out admin tasks and presenting their work, with the role requiring strong communication and project management skills. What this breakdown of responsibility shows is that different parts of the job of an investment banking analyst rely on different skills, Almost all of these can and will be impacted by increasing uses of generative AI. Within financial modeling, generative AI can automate the process by analyzing vast amounts of historical financial data and generating accurate forecasts and valuations. With access to real-time market data, AI models can continuously update and refine their predictions. In terms of market research, AI-powered algorithms can analyze large data sets from diverse sources including news articles, social media, and financial reports to extract valuable market insights. The rise of natural, natural language, language processing techniques, or NLPs, enable to AI to interpret and understand unstructured data, a capability they formerly wouldn't have had. Within deal execution, AI can automate many aspects by streamlining communication, managing documents, and flagging potential risks or issues. Advanced algorithms can now even analyze legal documents, identify key clauses, and provide recommendations, reducing the need for manual review. So, now that we've tackled the idea that AI does have the capabilities to automate and perform most of the roles of an IB analyst, the question becomes, how will this affect their jobs? Investment banking analysts typically work about 60 to 80 hours a week, with the occasional high-intensity work week pushing it to 100 plus. In 2021, Goldman Sachs had an internal leave, uh, survey leaked, which showed that on average, analysts worked about 98 hours a week, with an average bedtime of 3 a.m. and getting about five hours of sleep a night. And it's, it's not as if the pay really makes up for this torturous schedule. The average investment banking analyst typically makes about 84 grand a year, which, if you compare it to the amount of work they do, could be argued to not be worth it. AI can completely revolutionize the work and roles of an IB analyst, making their lives, mental and physical health so much better. JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon told Bloomberg that every single process, such as errors, trading, hedging, researching and processing, every single app and database will start applying AI, and that within JP Morgan itself, they're already applying AI in aspects like their wealth plans. AI should be used to aid and enhance the work of an IB analyst through a hybrid approach where analyzers utilize their own skill sets, as well as the skills I mentioned earlier that AI has. Elon Musk recently told the Financial Times that he believed there would be AI smarter than any human by around the end of 2025. And investment banking analysts specifically should be tapping into the resources AI will be able to provide them with. For example, using AI's historical financial knowledge and data, as well as lack of human error and accuracy to improve the way in which analysts go about their jobs. AI adds value in ways humans will never be able to, no matter how robotic some IB analysts may seem. AI is available around the clock, and which seems incredibly necessary when we consider the ever-changing political and socio-economic climate that we live in. And AI-powered risk management solutions are easily accessible. With firms not being constrained by time limits, they can take a more rapid and proactive approach to identify and manage threats. However, when we begin to fully explore the around-the-clock availability and other key benefits of AI, it begs the question, 
Will AI replace investment banking analysts? Jamie Dimon also said, AI is a technology and technologies always replace jobs. It will ultimately add huge benefits and for JP Morgan, if it does replace people, they hope to redeploy them. And it's true, AI is going to take some jobs. It's the obvious next step in the advancement of any new technology and it could be argued to be somewhat inevitable. However, many say that AI is going to affect every industry regardless of how techno technologically integrated it is now. And conversely, investment banking involves a lot of client facing roles and people already find customer service um, automated customer service lines extremely frustrating. So it feels unlikely that firms will try to automate something as complex as relationship management or other client facing roles. Realistically, IB will be a field where the everyday roles of an analyst are made easier using AI powered tools and they're already developing them for IB analysts to use. Investment banking and the overall job of an IB analyst is too complex for AI to completely replace it. And the work is too unique on a case to case basis for an AI system to effectively produce the same results. Investment banking involves calculations, assumptions, and sustainability that only a human can work through and apply to a deck or model. AI will instead affect IB through cutting down the amount of time it takes analysts to do their work, such as allowing AI to create the first draft of a credit memo or deck before analysts refine from there and ensure the information is correct and presented in the desired way. Additionally, companies, especially big banks and firms, will have security concerns about using AI for things like valuation models prior to their public release. This must be considered in the argument for how AI will affect finance in general, not just investment banking. For example, JP Morgan moves roughly $10 billion around global economies daily, and they're not going to give any part or power, of, power or control over that money to, to an AI they haven't tested and regulated, and that will involve um, significant time and resources. So, the conclusion we can ultimately draw is that AI cannot and will not replace investment banking analysts. Instead, it will flip their role on its head. Analysts will be able to access historical financial data through AI when making models and doing market research, and they can use AI to help them summarize and decode the statistics and data itself. This is a simple example of how this hybrid approach means that IB analysts will use AI in its various forms to make, to make them, their work more successful and efficient, which can ultimately benefit all of us. AI has already been used by investors to support forecasting and portfolio management, and by banks to fight fraud and customer service support. AI's rap rapid evolution will pave the way to, to make financial services not only better, but cheaper and easier for all of us to access. AI chatbots like Google's Gemini have already captivated users with their capabilities to conjure up images, create song lyrics, and generate high quality videos. Ultimately, we shouldn't be afraid of what will and can be a great asset to us. And as long as we fight the negative possibilities AI could create, it will only benefit us. Thank you.